Good evening, everyone. Thank you for clicking on the evening webcast. I'm meteorologist Thomas Giboy. We are in store for a very, very cold night tonight. Hard freeze warnings and watches prevalent throughout the Wiregrass. And hard, hard freeze watch, in effect, for the coastal regions. Not going to get as cold there tonight, but still widespread lower 20s is what we are going to see tonight. And here's what hard freeze warning means. Temperatures will be in the mid-20s for usually about six hours or more. Thinking tonight into tomorrow morning, we'll see 20s for at least eight hours. Some of the actions to take, bring the pets indoors, cover up those sensitive plants, and make sure everyone has the amount adequate heat that they need since tonight will be so cold. And to top things off, there also is a wind chill advisory. We will see winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. So when you get winds like that and temperatures in the low 20s, we will see wind chill values tomorrow morning into the mid-teens. Going to be very chilly. Back to today, though, high temperatures across the wiregrass into the low 50s for the most part. Some spots seeing some upper 20s, but that's pretty good from where we were yesterday with temperatures only being into the lower 40s for high temperatures. This morning, we started off into the upper 20s, so just a little bit warmer than we will be tonight. But ever since the sun went down, temperatures are starting to fall off there and starting to do so rather quickly. Here's a look at temperatures right now across the wiregrass temperatures into the low 40s for the most part. Most part. But we have winds that are out of the northwest. So when you have temperatures that are that chilly and also winds out of the northwest, you get a little bit of a wind chill factor. Just feeling above freezing here in Dothan, Troy, also at 35. But as we go throughout the night, the wind chill will become more of a factor. The reason for all this is because that cold front going to sag its way further to the south. You get high pressure. You see that northerly flow around the high pressure. So that's going to reinforce some colder air that is already in place. But now to the good news. High pressure moves its way further to the east. You get some southerly flow from the return flow of the high pressure. We're going to be watching our next system with the warm front. It's going to be ushering in some warmer temperatures. Unfortunately, we have to deal with the rain, but from where we're going to be into the lower 20s, I'm sure that we'll take some warmer temperatures. Might even see a 70 degree this weekend, but more on that just a little bit later. Here's a look at low temperatures tomorrow morning across the wiregrass, thinking low 20s. Troy even might we Troy might even see some temperatures into the upper teens. Some spots around the wiregrass might also see some temperatures into the upper teens, even near the coast, well below 30 degrees. So it is going to be very cold. Make sure you dress in those extra layers tomorrow morning. You're going to need them throughout the rest of the day. As we look at the hour by hour forecast for tomorrow, starting out really cold, still into the 20s by 9 o'clock into the morning, only warming up to right around 40 degrees tomorrow. So with the wind, temperature is going to feel below freezing for just about most of the day. And then temperatures into the evening time hours already 30 degrees by 7 p.m. The cold is here to stay for at least the next couple of days. But here's your two day forecast. Hard freeze, cold air through Friday morning. Then we finally start to see that warming trend as that high pressure makes its way further to the east, warming up all the way to 50 degrees. That is going to feel like spring has sprung definitely by that time. But we, like I said, we might see temperatures right around 70 degrees, but you want to make sure that you tune in the WRGX and WTVY for your full five-day forecast. Thanks, guys, for watching. I'm meteorologist Thomas Giboy.